By the end of this video, you will be able to add trills, trill lines, and chromatically alter trills to the music that you're working on in MuseScore Studio. Let's get started. So I'm currently working in MuseScore Studio version 4.5. And in order to add a trill, trill line, or chromatically alter trill, the first thing you want to do is add your note. And then once you have your note added, then you're going to want to left click on the note. It will turn blue. Make sure that you're in selection mode and not note input mode. So once I've selected the note, I'm going to go to the palettes tab over here and I'm going to look for ornaments. Now currently I don't see ornaments here, so I'm going to need to add that palette. So I'll left click on add the palette, I found ornaments, and I'm going to click on the plus icon. Once I've clicked on the plus icon, I can click outside of that box. And then now you can see ornaments is at the top. I'm going to click the small triangle here and it's going to drop down and you can see I have certain elements of ornaments that I can work with. So I see the trill is there as well as the trill line. And then you can also with those, you can do chromatically altered trills with the settings. So let's go ahead and add a trill to this note. One way to do it is to select the note and then left click on trill. So that's one way to do it. You could also just left click on trill and drag it to the note you would like to add the trill to. So I did that. And if you'd like to delete the trill, you want to left click on it, it will turn blue and then you can press delete on your keyboard. So let's go ahead and get a trill line in on that second one. So we have a trill on the first note and a trill on the next notes here. Now, real quick, before we go on to chromatically altered trills, I want to briefly mention about playback within MuseScore. So these trills will be reflected in playback. So if I go ahead and play this from the beginning, you'll hear the trill that is listed there. And you can hear the speed that it went in. It's pretty fast and it's kind of like mechanical in nature. So as far as I am aware, there is no real working solution for changing the speed of the trill other than changing the speed of the piece. So the tempo of the piece. So if let's say I were to change the tempo to this to quarter note equals 60, which is much slower than what we currently have, then that would slow the rate of the trill. But there's no way that I found that I'm able to change the trill and go maybe slower than faster or faster than slower within a piece. Uh, one way you could try would be to change, you know, add quarter notes in a different voice and then add one trill on each quarter note with different speeds. But the issue with that is that then your whole playback uh, will be affected. So again, if anyone found a way to work around this or if there's been an update to MuseScore since this recording, l let me know in the comments below. That way, if there's an update that will address this, then we can all benefit from that and be able to change the speed and maybe even the sound of that trill in playback. So let's move on to chromatically altered trills. And the way to do this is to go ahead and left click on the trill icon that you're working with. And you're going to go to the properties tab now instead of palettes. I'm going to click on properties. And when I'm in properties, you can see there's this ornament drop down. So again, if you need to drop that down with the arrow, you can click that. And you can see there's an interval here and the auto is diatonic at, at a second. So right now that is playing uh, with the playback on a second above the written note. So it'd be D and C. So I'm going to left click on diatonic and now I can go ahead and change this. Let's say I wanted to do major and let's say I wanted to do uh, chromatically altered to a third. So I could do that. And then actually chromatically altered would be better to do something like a minor. So there we go. So we could do minor and then do a minor second. So now you can see it added that flat to the top of the trill, which will then indicate that this is going to be a minor second. And so now in the playback, you're going to hear instead of a D and a C, this is going to be a D or sorry, a C and a D flat. So you can hear it's slightly different than the trill that was before. And again, you can change this uh, interval each time. So let's say I wanted to do a fifth. Again, it will change the notation. And if you want to change any of these appearances, you can left click and drag. You could left click on the element and then go to the properties and then you can go ahead and change the note head type if you want it to look differently. You could also change any of if you want to make it a smaller note head, you could do that too. So there are settings that you could change if you if you would like to change the appearance of the chromatically altered trills. So again, back to the trill, I'm going to go ahead and left click on trill again. And there it gives me that interval, the perfect fifth that looks good to me. You can also do this with a let's say augmented and then maybe an augmented third. So then that now it has a sharp. So if I do augmented second, that would be the sharp above the note. 
and you can change the visibility of the accidental so that you could play with those settings as well. If you want to have the Qnote visible, you could have that on or off. So you can see now I have a Qnote there, even with the minor seconds. So again, you can turn it on or off. And then the placement, you could have that trill above or below, depending on what you like. And then when you're happy with that settings, you just left click outside of there and then it will save the settings on your score. This works well with trill lines as well. So if I left click that trill line and I go to properties, now I can see the appearance and the ornament here. I can change anything I'd like to about if I want to chromatically alter this. You can even do a unison trill if you'd like. Uh, you can also left click on appearance and then you could change things like the color as well as different uh, offsets with the distance uh, from your notes and your staff. So you now know how to add and edit trills, trill lines, and chromatically altered trills within MuseScore Studio 4.5. If you made it this far into the video, you likely want to get the most out of using MuseScore Studio. I made a complete beginner's video showing you from A to Z how to get started. I'll put a link to that video here.